Hello everyone, it's me, Teacher Jelly. Ang inyo, Teacher Elang Linko. Today we are making a part two of the recently uploaded video entitled Best App for Online Presentation or Online Demo Teaching. If you have not watched the part one of this video, please watch it because in that video, we have discussed the major teaching tools that are available in this app. Now, in this video, I'll be answering FAQ or Frequently Asked Questions about using class in app. We have received lots of positive feedbacks from you guys through comments and personal messages which are all overwhelming and expect that we will continue to produce educational videos for all of you. By the way, if you are new in this channel, please consider subscribing. Also, do not forget to like our page on Facebook. It's Ticharella Diaries. Now, let's begin with the first question. How to install class in in my computer? So, marami po nagre-request ng tutorial kung paano nga ba natin may install itong application na to sa ating mga computer. The steps are very easy and I'm gonna walk you through it. Roll! First off, go to browser and type www.classin.com This is what you will see on their page. In the middle, you will see this button. So I want you to click download now. Here you will see three options. First one is the app version for Windows 7 computers and above. Yung laptop ko po ay Windows 10. So ito po yung pinili ko, Windows 7 and newer. Next, we have the app version for a MacBook. Last is for Android phones. So click the option that best suits your device. After clicking, the app will start to be downloaded on your device. Once it is done loading, click it and choose Run. Now, Class in App has been successfully installed in your computer. You will see this icon on your desktop kapag tapos na po ang installation process. And there you go, as easy as that. Question number two, is it free to use? Definitely, it's free. Doon po sa video na nakita nyo kanina, wala po tayo nakitang nakalagay na may subscription fee. And wala naman pong naka-indicate na we have to pay before we can use the app. So definitely, it's free. Um, from the time that I've used it up until now, kahit wala na ako dun sa company na yun, I can still use Class In for free. Wow. Although, meron pong option doon sa website nila na parang sign in as an institution. And... I think that's a different process that I cannot discuss kasi hindi ko po siya alam kung paano nag-work but nung chinek ko, there are some requirements wherein you need to indicate the name of your principal, etc, etc. So let's just leave that there because we really don't know how it works. So let's just focus on this one. Number three, how to sign up. Madali lang po. Start by clicking the class in icon. Then click sign up. Now, input all the needed information. You start by clicking the correct country. Ang default po nito ay hindi Philippines. So, pirin po natin yung Philippines. Ito po, ang Philippines po ay plus 63. Okay, again, piliin natin yung Philippines. Mahalaga po yun. Then, you add the rest of your number. Cell phone number po ito. Teachers laging 9 po ang kasunod ng 63. Plus 63, tapos 9, and then the rest of your number. Now, click send code. Magsisend po ang class in sa cellphone number nyo na ininput nyo dyan ng specific code na kailangan nyo pong i-enter dito sa space na yan. Ngayon po, pag nareceive nyo na po yung verification code, input nyo lang po dyan. And then, proceed to typing your password. So, dalawang beses po natin itatype yung password natin. The second one is for verification lang din po. So, twice natin i-input yung password natin. 
Meron din po dyang agreement policy, so before you check, basahin nyo na lang din po. Lastly, click sign up. Ayan, itry po natin kung successful po ang ating signing up process. Ilagay po natin yung mga information na nilagay po natin doon kanina. Yung number natin and then yung password. Click login. Yay! We have officially created our very own class in account. Now proceed to writing your name on your profile. Yes! Good job! Number four, how to add my students. Of course, for you to communicate with your student or your evaluator using this app, they should also download and sign up for an account. Now, I'm going to be showing you the whole process on how you can add your student in your e-classroom. Dito po tayo natapos kanina, no? So, ilagay nyo lang po yung pangalan nyo dyan and picture kung gusto nyo po. Then, click Done. Now, I want you to focus on the search bar. Ito po, bandang sa itaas. Dahil dyan nyo po itatype yung number po ng account ng student nyo. Again, remember, ang ginamit po natin sa paggawa ng account ay cellphone number natin. So, ibig sabihin, yung student natin or evaluator, cellphone number din po niya ang kanyang ginamit sa paggawa ng kanyang account. Now, you need to type the cellphone number of your student or your evaluator. Do not forget to choose the correct country. Okay? Select Philippines. Piliin mo ang Pilipinas te. Okay? <laughs> Click search. Kunwari lang po, ito yung student, no? Student Jelly. So, ayan, nahanap na natin si student. The next step is to click add friend. Pag-click po natin ng add friend, magno-notify po yan kay Student Jelly. Okay? Magsisend po ang class in ng notification kay Student Jelly. Now, let's check that. Alright? Bubuksan ko po yung account ni Student Jelly. Ayan, no? So, over here, dito sa message icon, makikita natin may notification. And, ayan, nakikita natin si Teacher Beth ay ini-invite si Student Jelly. Siyempre, i-accept po yan ng student. Okay, ngayon po, balik na tayo sa account ni Teacher Beth. Sample lang po ito for this part. Okay, ayan. Na-notify na po kay Teacher Beth na si Student Jelly ay nag-accept ng friend invite. Now, click that. And over here, you will see Temporary Classroom. Click that. Now, you have successfully created a classroom for both of you. Click enter. Okay, and now you are inside the e-classroom. Tulad po ng diniscuss ko sa part 1, if napanood nyo na po, tinuro ko na po sa inyo yung paano natin um, iseset ang ating mga device. Ayan, ayan po ang itsura kung hindi pa naliligo. <laughs> Dahil gusto po natin matapos ang video na ito para... Uh, ma-follow up na po yung mga frequently asked questions nyo kaya pagpasensyahan nyo na po ang hindi pa naliligo Next Number 5 Isa po sa mga pinakamadalas na tanong sa atin ay ilang students po ba Teacher Jelly ang pwede kong i-add sa aking e-classroom Teachers, what I tried before ay one-on-one -on -one lang po talaga so meaning I only have one student per session Hindi ko po na-try na magkaroon ng two or more students. But, I know na pwede po kayong mag-add ng I think at least 7 to 10 students in your classroom. But, I really suggest na wag po masyadong madami dahil it will be hard for you to control and manage your students. Number 6. Can students or evaluators also use the teaching tools? The answer is yes! Now, I'll be showing you how to authorize 
your student or your evaluator in using the teaching tools. Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? Student bit. Good job. Okay, so teachers, as you can see, kung uh, gusto nyo pong bigyan ng reward yung student nyo, you can simply click this um, trophy icon over here and that will give a reward to your student. Wow. Next, um, next question. Can student or evaluator use your teaching tools over here? Yan po yung mga tanong. The answer is yes. So how can you authorize your students to use the tools that we have here? Simply click this crown icon over here. And after nyan, makikita nyo po magkakaroon ng yellow crown doon sa camera ng student. That means to say na authorized nyo na po siya to use the tools. Now, um, Teacher Beth, can you please um, draw some circles on our board? Here we go. Yay! And also, how about type your name? Okay, good. Uh, so, for example, teacher, my situation na nagbimisbehave yung student nyo, nagsusulat or nagdodrawing ng unnecessary things, then you can <laughs> then you can click the authorize over here. Ayan. Pag kinlik nyo po yan, ayan, hindi na po siya makakapagsulat. Hindi na po magagamit yung mga teaching codes. Alright? Last question, number seven. Is there a time limit per class? Yes. Maximum time is 20 minutes. Actually, 15 minutes lang po siya. Pero pag nag-exit po kayo, meron kayong extra na 5 minutes. So, total is 20 minutes. So, after 20 minutes, the classroom will automatically close. I think that's only one of the disadvantages of this app because you're using it for free. Talagang merong limitations po. No? So, meron po kayong 20 minutes to conduct your class. Paano po yung teacher jelly? What if I need 30 minutes to meet and to discuss with my student. So again, gagawa lang po tayo ng bagong temporary classroom and instruct po natin yung student or evaluator na mag-enter doon sa classroom na yun. So, 15 plus 15, may 30 minutes ka na. I hope I was able to answer the most important questions that you have in your mind. In my next video, I'll be showing you how to make interactive games in class in for your students. I'm very happy that our channel is serving its purpose to inform all of you. So stay tuned and expect more educational videos. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye!